What is up guys and welcome to the first episode of this new series I'm going to call Chasing Aesthetics. And basically what I want to do is I'm just going to keep it real and raw and basically just film my workouts, have some chats in between and stuff. Um, for the last like I would say 14 months, I didn't really take gym as seriously as I used to back in the day. Um, I've just been so focused on social media and on my business and getting all of that done. I mean, I still worked out and I put in the work, but it's not like I've pushed myself to the extent, to the max. So over these next six months, I really want to push my physique to see like how far I can actually take this thing. Um, for those of you that don't know, I'm 28 years old. I'm a lifelong natural. So yeah, I'm going to take you guys through my workouts and then I'll basically just you know, chat and talk about some different techniques and stuff, things I do, see why I can add some value, and then maybe just have some uh, random conversations in between. So if you guys have any questions that you want to ask me, you know, and then I'll maybe answer it the next day in the next YouTube video when I do my workouts. So you can send me questions on Instagram and then, yeah, like I said, I'll answer them the next day when I do my workouts. Um, I'm going to keep it pretty raw. I don't want to go too fancy with the edits, especially at the beginning. Maybe over time we'll get more fancy and stuff. But at least for now, we'll just kind of keep it plain and and usual and stuff. So yeah, I'm just about to make my pre-workout. Um, I usually drink my pre-workout at home, but the gym where we film at, I actually have to drive to. So I prefer to, to just take my pre-workout there. And then I know it doesn't kick in while I'm like driving and stuff. So we'll just make that. And then the only other supplement I take before gym is creatine, creatine monohydrate. Um, I haven't really found like the best time to use it. I don't really see a difference. I just simply take it before gym when I drink my pre-workout simply for convenience sake. Otherwise, I sometimes forget. So I would just kind of mix it all in there and then just drink it like that. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. We're gonna go to gym now and then I'll catch you guys inside there. Okay, cool guys. So today is the first time I'm gymming again in, I don't know, it's been like something like two months or something. Um, I recently got my leg, lower leg sleeve done, which is pretty cool. Um, it's about 90% done healing, so I can get back into gym again. Pretty excited about that. I'm going to show you guys what my legs look like in a day or two. I just want the peeling to be finished first so you can guys can see the end result. Pretty keen to show you because this is by far my favorite tattoo I have on my body right now. Probably just because it's new, um, but yeah, I don't think I'm going to be too strong today. It's first day back, so I won't go too hard because I don't want to be sore for the next like four years. <laughs> so we'll see how it goes. I'm going to start off with chest and shoulders this week, and then tomorrow we'll do back and traps, and then the day after that we'll do biceps and triceps, and the day after that we'll do legs if my leg tattoo is perfectly healed. Otherwise, we'll skip legs this week and then pick it up from next week again. So I personally prefer a four-day split. That's what works best for me, um, but we'll get more into that between the sets and stuff. So let's get to the first exercise. We're going to do bench press, my personal favorite exercise, so let's get into that. So I'm going to start off with bench press, like I said. For the first set of every exercise, I like to go super like light just to get my body used to it, the movement, so I don't injure myself. So we're just going to bench the bar, basically, <laughs> and then we'll pack on weights from there and see how it goes. That actually wasn't too bad. I'm feeling kind of a pain in my shoulder. We'll see if that goes away. If it doesn't, I'll just do a different exercise. Um, it's happened sometimes. I'm not really sure why. But I highly suggest if, like, listen to your body. If a part of your muscle is, like, hurting or paining or something, just listen to it and do a different exercise rather than injure yourself for sure. Okay, so we're going to do, like, four working sets. This is set one. 
and we'll see how it goes. Every set, I'll just increase the weight a little bit, do less reps, and we'll see how it goes. Okay, that feels okay. Okay, cool. So I'm about to do my second working set. This is 80 kilograms. You'll just have to make the conversion for you. And again, like I honestly don't care about like strength training. I'm also natural. So people always say you should go so much heavier, but the thing is I'm natural. So that definitely limits me. And the other thing that people never take into consideration is I'm always relatively lean. Like I'm not that lean now because I haven't been gymming for like two months, but usually I'm super lean. And when you're lean, you obviously get fatigued really quickly because you're like in a calorie deficit. So I guess that's kind of why, you know, I'm not as strong as people think, but I'm pretty excited for these next six months to see like how hard I can push my body. Um, so yeah, let's get the second that's set done. At least 12 reps, at least 12. By the way, like, I always think how the hell do people gym without earphones? Like, those are some pretty hardcore motherfuckers. Can never gym without my earphones. And shout out to Beats, by the way. I'm not sponsored, but I bought these, like, Beats Pros. The coolest earphones I've ever had. Really, really cool. You guys will notice when, when I do my lifts, I try and, like, slow down when I come down with the movement, whether it's, like, bicep curls or regardless of the exercise because that's when you build a lot of muscle so I would typically try and go down slower most people just try and bang out as many reps as they can but the reality is most people who do that look like shit like obviously there's exceptions to the rules but I do believe if you want to maximize muscle growth especially muscle hypertrophy training that you need to try and go slower down and then push it up slower down so I try and do that when I can when the weight gets too heavy, we tend to like bounce it off the chest just to get it up there. But yeah, I'm not really big into ego lifting and stuff. I don't care about that. I'm more focused on keeping my joints in like one <laughs> in one. So yeah, I just don't try and focus on the movement and really try and feel that mind muscle connection. So when I do chest, I would literally like feel the contraction in my chest rather than just trying to push it up with like my biceps or my triceps. Um, I really activate my chest muscles and it's the same with every ex exercise I do. I try and really feel that muscle burning. Um, so yeah, that's probably the biggest thing I think that contributes to muscle growth, like focusing on that muscle, that mind-muscle connection. Because imagine a guy does like 15 reps bench, but he just like bangs them out. The time under tension that guy has doesn't come close to my reps, even if I just do like five reps, but I go like really slow down. I feel that muscle like burning. So that's probably my biggest, the biggest advice I can give to someone that really wants to build muscle. Focus on that movement, put the ego aside. Anyway, let's get into the third working set. Uh, this is 100 kilograms. I weigh like 87 kilograms now. So a little bit heavier than my body weight. I don't know how I'm gonna take this. Usually I can do like 10 reps when I'm on my peak, but yeah, because I skipped gym for so long, I don't know if I'll be able to do that, but Guess let's see. Three. 
That was pretty tough, but I don't think all things considered, that was too bad actually. Eight reps, yeah, I think it's pretty good. One more set, I think for the last one, we'll take the same, the same weight, because I really struggled with this one. So I just don't see the point in doing like two reps and going heavier, because I'm focused on muscle hypertrophy, trying to build the muscle, not necessarily focusing on strength. So we'll keep the same weight for the last one. Okay, so I'm gonna do set number four now. Um, see how we can do this. Pretty sure, last one I got eight. Pretty sure I'll get like six out of this one. Maybe seven if I really push it. Um, so I usually rest between, I'd say one and three minutes between sets. Kind of listen to my body. As soon as I feel ready to go again, I just go again. I don't see the point in trying to rush it. Like there's some people that say they want to up the intensity and it's like they do it and it's like 30 second rest do it but i think you get more out of it if you actually rest out completely and then you're able to actually put all your energy into that set and get more out of it and push yourself a little bit more um i mean if i had to rest like 20 seconds and bench again i'd be able to do like two reps so it makes no sense to me so yeah i'm gonna do this last one now and then we're probably going to do something incline incline bench or incline dumbbell press the key for me for sets is every week you want to get between 10 and 20 sets per muscle group per week so if you're like a beginner i'd lean more towards 10 sets per week if you're an advanced 20 maybe like 22 sets just to be safe so if i know i'm jumping chest twice a week which is what i do typically then i would do at least 10 sets on the one um, at the one time i jump chest and then 10 sets on the other one as well and you're gonna gain so much more muscle by actually doing that than doing like 10, 20 sweat sets in one, in one um, like training session. Rather split it over two, I think it works much better. I try and do that for all muscles. So yeah, let's do this last one real quick and then we'll do something incline and then maybe like one more chest exercise and then we'll hop over two shoulders. That was hard. Usually I try and push even harder, but because I don't have a sponsor, I don't want to really push harder than that, just in case you fail. But if it's like a cable machine or something, I'd push even harder to really try and go to failure so I can get the most out of that exercise. So it's gonna pack the weights off and then we'll do like incline dumbbell press. Okay, so we're gonna do three, four working sets with this one. I'm gonna start off a little bit lighter. Start off with 16 kilograms. And then just to like warm up that part of the muscle. Um, like I'm not really a scientific lifter. So I can't tell you like this exercise is gonna jump this part of the chest or this, I don't really know. <laughs> so just to be safe, I like to go light with every single first set like I mentioned, just to warm it up in case this might exercise a different part of the chest. Um, so I don't hurt or injure myself. That to me is the most important thing, just looking after my health and stuff. So yeah, let's do this first set. Just kind of push through the motion slowly, just to kind of get used to the exercise.
Yeah, that's fine. It's fine. Do you know what I hate? Is when people compare strength. Because everyone trains differently. Like, if a person asks me, and this is something a lot of people ask me, is like, how much do dumbbell curl? But then, like my dumbbell curl is way different than someone else's dumbbell curl. Because, let's say, I dumbbell curl like this, right? So I focus on the movement, really contracting the muscle, and someone else does this. It's obviously gonna be way easier for them, and so they'll be able to go way heavier. So, yeah, when someone like compares how strong they are, always look at how they do the movement, because like a 200 kilogram squat might be a lot, might not be a lot. It depends on the person, how they actually do the exercise. So keep that in mind. Gonna, for the first working set, we'll do 26 kilograms. Um, and yeah, in South Africa, we use kilograms. I know, I think in the US, they use like pounds. So you might want to convert that. Um, but yeah, we'll see how this one goes. I'm actually pretty keen. After this workout, I'll maybe take off my shirt and see what my physique looks like. I look, I'm looking pretty flat, but I think I should get all nice and pumped up after like two weeks back in, back in routine. But I'm pretty stoked though about like how I've kept a lot of muscle. Um, when I don't gym, I always try and like eat as per normal still. So like I still eat a lot of protein, low calorie dense foods, just to kind of, you know, keep the most muscle I possibly can. So, yeah, let's see. This is kind of light. Good. I think for the next one, take like 30s, maybe, maybe 32s. Sweet. practice my posing. Fuck, I'm horrible at posing. Uh, probably on my to-do list for this year. Especially vacuums, bro. Like, I feel like those are so difficult to do. This morning I actually Googled, like, or YouTube how to do a vacuum pose. Alex Eubank's like king of those. And I watched the video. Basically says you just have to, like, blow out all the air and just, like, suck it in. So I tried this morning for the first time. Pretty horrible at it. But I think over the next like, couple of weeks, I'll try and practice more, see if I can get that down, because that's like my favorite pose. If you can do like a double buy and just like do a vacuum pose, I think that's a pretty sick, sick movement. So I'm gonna see if I can get that down soon. Um, I'm just focus on dropping a little bit more body fat. I'd say I'm about like 12% body fat probably. 12 maybe, maybe like 13, I'm not sure. But yeah, when we're done training for today, I'll take off my shirt, do some poses, even though it's rookie, and then you guys can guess what you think my body fat is. Okay. <sighs> lightweights, baby, lightweights. Fuck. 
Okay, I think we'll take these again. They're pretty difficult. And then we'll go heavier on the last one. The veins are really starting to get out now. Pretty keen to see the progress in the next couple of weeks. Um, from tomorrow morning, I'm gonna start doing cardio again. I do cardio like every single day, at least 30 minutes to an hour every single day, seven days a week. Um, I kind of try and incorporate stuff to make it sustainable. So what, what I mean by that is I would do cardio and then I'd reply like DMs or like check emails or if I don't have any work stuff to do, I'll watch like Netflix series or something. Just walk on the treadmill incline 30 minutes to an hour every single day, burn so much fat. A lot of people think you burn fat by working out. You really don't, like you don't burn a lot of calories compared to cardio. Like you'd be surprised how much fat you lose if you just walk on incline, let's say like four kilometers an hour, um, on incline, let's say like on level like 10, 30 minutes a day, seven days a week, you'd lose a lot of fat if you're not doing any cardio. So highly suggest that. <sighs> okay, let's do this next one. tough man I'll put these away and then the last one we'll try 40s okay so we're gonna do the last set now um, and then we're gonna do one more exercise for chest we might do something cables something where I can really contract the muscle like squeeze it maybe like pec deck or cables I usually like doing those and then we're gonna go over to shoulders so some people like to mix between like one chest one shoulders one chest one shoulders i mean at the end of the day go what you enjoy most for me i just enjoy smashing like one body part and then going to the next um since chest and shoulders are both like push movements so it's like chest you need to push shoulders you need to push so this week i might start with like chest and then shoulders and then next time i jump it i might do shoulders first and then chest because obviously the one you do second you can't put as much energy into that because you're kind of fatigued from, you know, the first muscle group. So, so yeah. And guys, please remember if you have any questions for me, it doesn't even have to be relating to fitness stuff. It can just be general stuff you're curious about, if it's social media stuff, maybe some stuff about faith. Ask me in my DMs and then tomorrow when we train, I'll have a look at my DMs and I'll answer some of your questions. But yeah, let's get this last one done. Cool, so we can do the last exercise now for chest. Um, we're just gonna do cables, I like this one. So basically just gonna contract it and get that squeeze in. We'll do four sets. Um, the first one will be light as always, and then we'll do three working sets. Let's get it.
Okay, now we're gonna do three working sets. That was actually quite heavy. Like, I thought it was gonna be lighter, but that was actually quite heavy. So I'll just put like one heavier. Just like one down. This one too. Damn. If there's any posing coaches in South Africa, Pretoria, hit me up. I need a posing coach for sure. I don't think people understand like how big of a difference lighting actually makes. So this gym has pretty good lighting from the top down. So down lighting is always the best. So what I look like now under these lights, I don't look like that like in shitty natural lighting. Um, so yeah, it's, it's actually quite crazy. Especially a lot of these like fitness influencers. I still kind of keep my videos raw like I take a lot of videos but some fitness influencers and stuff they just take photos and they post photos but then it's like the best of the best photos like super edited and stuff so if you get down lighting with crazy editing then you're able to look like 100 times better than you actually look in real life but maybe after the session like I said I'll take off my shirt do some poses see what I look like and then maybe tomorrow a different day I'll do the same but maybe like outside in like natural lighting and you guys can see like what the big difference is between good lighting and bad and bad lighting. I'm pretty excited about this YouTube thing, by the way, guys. Like this is pretty cool. Um, like you guys know I've been going super hard on social media, on like shorts and stuff and TikTok and Instagram. But I don't know, man. It just feels like it's not sustainable anymore. It's super draining to do. So I really hope this new style of content works or I like it and it's sustainable. I mean, I go to gym every day. I might as well just record it and talk in between. Um, it's pretty easy to do and I actually enjoy it. So we'll see how it goes. And then maybe I'll cut some shorts up from these long version like YouTube videos. And then, yeah, I don't know. I'm pretty excited about this. Like YouTube's fun. It's just, I can't do everything. I've been lying to myself for so long saying I'm going to do YouTube and TikTok and shorts and all of this stuff. But it just never works because it takes so much energy to film and edit and all of this stuff. So, yeah, anyway, enough talking crap. Let's do the next one. Let's do set number, the second working set. This air is going to be the death of me. I'm actually trying to like grow it out until it's like by my shoulders. Low key, I want to be a Viking, but I'm looking more like Barbie at the moment. But yeah, I want to be a Viking, really into Vikings. So I want to grow my hair like super long, but it's taking some time. At least it's getting better. Like I can at least like kind of pull it backwards. It was at this really awkward stage where it was kind of just like, like hanging like that all the time. But now I can at least like put it by my ears and try and get out of my face so it's getting there I think in like 
four or five months from now, it'll be like spot on. Um, it's the first time I've grown my hair out this long. Like this is the longest it's been, I think, ever. <laughs> Pretty excited about that. Okay, so we're going to do one more working set. And keep the weight the same, because the previous one was difficult. I love this song. Super random. Okay, let's do the last one. with chest we're gonna do some shoulders now um, I'm gonna put on a vest so we can kind of see what's going on when I do the shoulders <laughs> 